Oh, okay, sorry. I gotta talk in the microphone like this. So, um, bear with me. Yeah. Alright. So already, each of them at high, at somewhat relatively high percent. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be that good of a matchup for Meta Knight. Since, pretty much, oh, nice up tilt, but pretty much, the multi is are gonna be a really big problem for Meta Knight since Snake can just use a grenade to get out of a lot of stuff. Alright, just playing the patient game. Edgy Knight trying to find an opening. Taking a lot of damage right now. He needs to find a kill fast. Throw with a good lead right now. Just camping him out. Recognizing he doesn't need to approach. Gonna die that up till really early, actually. Alright, good in air to catch that. It's Knight finally putting himself on the board. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fair. He did start on the platform. Yeah, it's Knight needs to find a big combo. Being hit by that. And being a light character, his next, the next hit he receives could be a stock. All right, good, good shield pressure. Edge guard situation. It looks like he's building up percent here. Ooh, messes up the, the setup. Oh, and that's going to do it. And as you know, actually making a comeback here. It's so scary though. Meta at 121 against Snake. One wrong, one wrong move, and he could be dead. Down tilt, not gonna kill. One forty-seven. He's trying to find an up tilt or a grab here. Oh, finds it, and that's going to be it. Crow taking game one. The Timberlands. The Timberlands. Oh, yeah, my bad. Game number two, we might see the switch, but all right, he's confident in Meta Knight. Well, we see the switch from Crow though into Inkling. Yes, we will. I think the switch came out because he feel he feels like uh, Edge Knight is figuring him out a little bit. Getting to game number two, let's see if Ezion can translate what he figured out over into the Inkling matchup. Alright, big damage on that jab. Inkling's gonna be racking up a lot of percent here once he gets a hit. Alright, getting another jab, just covering him up. Not fair. Um, drop the combo. All right, good up tilt to catch the landing. And side me to call out the jump. All right, I like the use of down B here to actually whiff punish that out of the ledge situation. Not mashing fast enough, and that's going to do it for the first stock. All right, another jab. He's, Pro is taking really good advantage of these jabs. That up B not gonna kill. All right, forward air. Oh, and then there to catch it. That's going to do it. And now we're looking at a pretty even game. All right. 
And that like, combos can be really, it, it can do not actually a lot of damage if he doesn't get the hits that he needs. Ooh, nice call out there with the side B again. All right, back our dash attack. Honestly, I think the man, like, if he gets the right hit, he could take the stock here. All right, down tilt dash attack. Oh, try to call out the air dodge and misses and gets punished with the F smash. All right, good skill pressure. Just now need to find something quick. All right, more good skill pressure and the stage spike. Putting AJ Knight back on the board. Now he just needs to rack up the damage, but it's gonna be a lot harder if he gets hit by stuff like that. by that jab. Ooh, all right, footstool. We got shenanigans going on here. All right, good recovery. Ooh. All right, Master's out just in time. That could have been it. Up throw, is he gonna get the up air? He's not. I don't know if that was too late a percent or if he just messed up, but this could be Edgy Knight's chance. All right, misses that down B. Oh, that's going to do it. Crow taking it 2-0.